Hey, genuine well-wishers and constructive critics, to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outside, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years. In spite of the three waves of Corona, with fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities, all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with the sh- altruistic delight, enticed, excited like an infant to learn the unknowns for my 200th video on Anvil of Publication on YouTube today, 5th December 2022, Monday, one day prior to Karthike Vidhiva, celebrated uh, or Murga, Var Murga. Okay. The topic for today is, is Indian Censorship Board for Film Certification, shortly CV. CBFC sleeping. I assure you that my videos are short and sweet worth every front or second of your precious time. It's a proud moment in my life completing my second milestone of publishing 200 videos on YouTube. Way to go, great man. You are born to achieve. We are mortal but our videos are immortal so we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever having published 200 videos so far including this particular video for the benefit of society that too absolutely free. Censor board in India. Although the constitution of India de jure guarantees freedom of expression, de facto there are various certain restrictions on content with an official view towards maintaining communal and religious harmony given the history of communal tension in the nation. According to the Information Technology Rules 2011, Objectionable content includes anything that threatens the unity, integrity, difference, security or sovereignty of India, friendly relations with the foreign states or public order. Analysts from Reporters Without Borders rank India 142nd in the world in the 2022 Press Freedom Index, classifying it as a difficult situation. The Censor Board of Film Certification, CBFC, government, governmental regulating body for the Indian filmmaking industry, popularly Known as the Censor Board, the CBFC was set up under the Cinematograph Act of 1952. Its purpose is to certify by means of screening and rating the suitability of feature films, short films, trailers, documentaries and theatre-based advertising for public viewing. CBFC allows release of certain films with sexual content labelled A-rated, which are to be shown only in restricted spaces and to be viewed only by people of age 18 and above. India's public television broadcaster Dudash and Didi has aired these films at late night time slots. Films, television shows and music videos are prone to scene cuts or even bans. However, if any literature is banned, it is not usually the pornogra- for pornographic reasons. It can be for the content, uh, violence, okay, whatever. The CBFC, the regulatory film body of India, regularly orders directors to remove anything it seems offensive, including sex, nudity, violence, or subjects considered politically subversive. According to the Supreme Court of India, film censorship becomes necessary because a film motivates thought and action and achieves a high degree of attention and retention as compared to the printed world. The combination of act and speech, sight and sound in semi-darkness of the theatres with the elimination of all distracting ideas will have a strong impact on the minds of the viewers and can affect emotions. Therefore, it has as much potential for evil as it has for good and has an equal potential to instill or cultivate violent or bad behavior. It cannot be equated with other modes of communication. Censorship by prior restraint is therefore not only desirable but also necessary. The current classification of films in India are as follows. U. Unrestricted Public Exhibition UA. Unrestricted Public Exhibition but with caution regarding parental guidance to those under 12 years of age, a. Public exhibition restricted to adults 18 years of age and older only. Yes, public exhibition restricted to members of a pro- profession or a class of persons, example doctors, etc. That is very rare. All films, foreign and Indian, as well as versions released in different formats must obtain CBFC certification before being screened or telecast or broadcast in India headed by a chairperson, usually a notable figure from the arts and entertainment area 
and a team of 25 administrative members like the Mumbai based CBFC operates through nine regional offices located in New Delhi, Chennai, Kolkata, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Tiruvannamalai, Guwahati and Kattak in addition to Mumbai. Each of these offices has created a locally appointed advisory panel composed of individuals from different walks of life who serve for terms of varying lengths. Although the CBFC does not include an enforcement agency, its directives generally have been accepted often under protest by filmmakers unwilling to risk complete prohibition by local authorities. Cinema uses and abuses. Sources of it's a source of enter entertainment. It also diverts the attention of young minds that are said to be the hope of the nation, has played a great role in molding and shaping the outlook of the people with its advent people have felt a new thrill of life and laughter in the films also have helped in uprooting superstitions, religious orthodoxy and fanaticism to some extent by broadening the outlook of the common people. Nowadays, cinema is merely known for its romanticism uh, and fantasy or mindless rubbish. It spoils youth and the morals. The story contains no moral. No moral. Its romantic love scenes raise baser passions in a human being. There is sex and sex everywhere in the film, polluting the whole environment of a society. We see art nowhere but the heroine's half-naked body with the vulgar actions. This leads to eve teasing and other unnatural activities of the young man. Young men. Cinema has also given birth to many crimes in the society, meaningless violence that took brutally raw. Rotten scoundrels to the go core are portrayed as heroes and females of easy virtue are portrayed as heroines. I hope you understand. Common people who consider them as icons are mesmerized, try to imitate these assholes in real life and ultimately ruin their lives forever. Most of the young robbers have been inspired by the films. Not only robbers, even the criminals. They try to imitate the techniques used in the films while doing heinous crimes like looting, kidnapping, killing and the worst of all, raping young innocent girls. Nowadays, these in in incidents have become the part of the day. The root cause of all this is that low, degrading cinemas are being made. The producers and directors are concerned only about meeting as much money in real quick time besides being in the limelight. Altruistic psychopaths. Adolescents are the worst affected. Real life becomes too dull and boring for youngsters since they are under the illusion that real life is real. So youngsters try to justify the wrong actions like crimes, rapes, tortures, harassment, perversion, substance abuse, etc. is justified in social life. Youngsters are misguided. Cinema also wastes a lot of time of the students and they are left with the little time to devote to their studies. Most of the film fans are spoiled in due course. Cinema may be of great value if it is free from these evils. It must be based on some moral values. It must impart healthy environment and entertainment. It must teach some lessons to make it meaningful. It must be in tune with our culture and civilization. Now we move on to reality, reality check. There is no doubt that movies, TV are good for the entertainment value, but they should never be used as instruments or aids to ruin our rich culture, morality. India is uh, known for its uh, rich cultural heritage once upon a time. What kind of TV shows are telecast? Most of these so-called soaps are about rendered uh, by females with the blue or green lenses. It's such an evil look which makes you feel as if you are looking at venomous snakes. Besides, these ones glorify illicit relationships, unruly and dirty fights between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. So-called comedy is literally colored adult jokes. With the advent of umpteen over-the-top OTT platforms without any censorship whatsoever, it has become very easy to show anything for rating. Most of these OTT platforms telecast web series full of crude violence, adultery, soft as well as hard pornography. A few examples are Sanika, Idan, Otto Shanka, Chup. Some of these web series have scenes like father raping his underage kid, daughter, raping minors, etc. Movies are no longer no better. To name a few beasts, Kalagatalevan, Nan, Mirgamai, Mara, Asuran, Nane, Varvain, Vendu, Daninda, the Guard, Valimai, Master, Metro, Kaidi, Psycho. It's not an exhaustive list. The so called heroes in these movies are psychos taking others' lives as if they are flies. Ultimately, it is not entertainment, but they pave the way for groom criminals, murderers, psychos, rapists, terrorists, and whatnot. There is all around, all around cultural degradation. 
ladies dress up like heroines displaying the body so provocatively exposing the body parts which should be covered fully youngsters imitate their matney idols smoking drinking in education and institutes besides substance abuse group fights performing bike stunts races on public roads endangering their lives and general public raping innocents including infants and elderly looting murdering for financial gains assassins mercenary most of these assassins are under age less than juveniles less than 18 years old unethical hacking cyber crimes dressing up like rowdies dolls watch the so called game show big boss and judge yourself the competitions are mostly obscene males and females falling on top of one another wrestling literally violent fights physical and oral one is bound to lose their patience and real soon they will also start screaming like these contestants if they watch it regularly the contestants must have signed non disclosure agreement with the producers of shows like these to mean money anything and everything you name it is available mostly for free on internet bomb making methods to kill others brutally how to commit suicide hacking how to commit cyber crimes unnatural sexual sexual acts raping gangsters who run away from their families especially from villages with the dreams of becoming mass heroes heroines ruin their life forever and lead such pathetic lives if you let this continue india will never be a developed country it may turn as a country of evil zombies put a stop once and for all to the root cause movies tv shows web series internet debates discussion on open ended topics like this can go on forever and you know, let me pull the plug here we'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic some of the statements used expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of hostile experience always watch these videos with a close caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times so far i have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum today i must have taken 12 or 30 minutes mostly this time limit is self imposed to read the viewers attention as a norm stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel covid-19 and prolong your life span lead a healthy life god also known as the supreme power is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural and unnatural maybe bio war and cyber war events like pandemics and epidemics which ultimately pays away for apocalypse apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of others no fault of those huh? rest in peace and harmony